Hello, so I'm going to install on these fender trims. This is the Mad Black stainless steel edition. These are the CR2 uh, car riches. And this is the box. And this is how they look. And this is how they, they are wrapped up. And I'm about to show you how it looks on the truck. And I'll show you the installation process. And this is how they look when you install them. I like them because they're nice and slim. They're not that, those big fender flares because my wheels are factory and it looks good with my, uh, this setup. This is how it looks when you install it. And this is how the rear looks. I still gotta clean it up. I'm gonna show you a cleanup picture. The reason they're all like oil and greasy because I put um, this rust stuff on it. So you wanna rust underneath the fender. And I'll show you what I used. And this is how it's gonna look. Not bulky or nothing. The reason I'm putting them on, cause my truck, it started to rust. It started right here and went all the way to here where it started to rust. So I removed all the rust. I sprayed this special base coat. It's like a brown rust protector underneath. And then I sprayed this on top of it. So hopefully it doesn't rust anymore or at least prevents it for a while. And yeah, you do gotta remove a wheel because you do gotta drill the liner. And this is what I'm using. First I'm gonna spray this, like around here. Everything I'm gonna like soak it. And I'm gonna be putting this on bolts because it'll, it'll anti-seize it too and uh, you won't rust. It'll protect it too. Alright, so I'll be spraying it right here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I sprayed it. You can see it. I sprayed it all the way around. This is where it's gonna go. So when I put it over it, it's gonna cover it and uh, hopefully it doesn't rust anymore or at least prevents it for a while. All right, so you see right there, there's a screw right there. You gotta grab a drill bit. There's my drill bit. And you have to have two people do this. So one holds it against it really hard and one will drill it. The holes are pre-drilled. So you just gotta drill it out and then you put the thing in. I just, one person holds it and I go drill it right away. So you can see this hole right, let me see if I can focus. There's a hole right here. Oh, and this liner I unscrewed and I put it inside a liner. And uh, yeah, you see there's a hole, let me hold right here. So I'm gonna be holding it and one person will start drilling it. So when he pre-drills it, I'm gonna grab this and spray it inside that hole that I just made. And then I'm gonna put this on the, on the bolt or a little screw. And then you just put the screw in there and it, and it holds it. So you gotta make sure there's a little, you gotta, you gotta, when you put this on, you gotta make sure you hold it really hard against the truck. Cause you see there's a little gap right here pops up. So you just gotta make sure, but I mean overall it's, it's good. All right, so got the last bolt in right there. And then I took the liner and I put the liner back on, the plastic liner, and I put the back, this bolt on. And this is how it looks when it's done. So it's pretty good. Uh, once I clean it up, I'll show you the final product. And this will be the last one right here. This will be the last side. And you can see it covered up that, that thing I did. You can see how I painted it. I mean, this still will be red, but maybe later on I'll go with the sandpaper or like scuff it up and then just paint it with flat, flat black around this wheel well, just to hide that red right here. All right, then you can put your wheel back on because for the rear you got to remove the wheel because you won't be able to drill, drill it through because the tire is in the way. And then just torque them down to 130 foot-pounds. And then for the front, if you want, you can either turn the wheel to get to the... right here where you got to drill. You can just turn the wheel and do it or just remove it too. Okay, and also, in the back, you see it says, it says where it goes from passenger side, and that's how it is. And this is how it looks when it's done.
Here's the other side. And yeah, that should be it. And in some areas it's almost no gap at all, so it's pretty good. Like it's all the way against the cab. I have a little gap right here. Because uh, someone hit me here and I think it bent the fender. So I got a gap right here, but it's not a big deal. Still looks pretty good.